Danny, Danny, you failed in advance. <laughs> FDA, you didn't fail. You can't start in Molongo. Ali. It's a chaotic distance. It's a chaotic distance. Can you try it again? FDA, you didn't fail. You can't start in Molongo. Don't tell me. Come on, K, 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 Yes, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Some, some supporters of Liverpool can celebrate Bronya. <laughs> I, I know you're are playing Bayern Munich. <laughs> Bayern Munich. Hey! Bayern Munich. Hey! Uh, in club, I trust. Then what's Manchester United fans do? We have scored, look, we have scored Bayern Munich okay, from the time okay. of Borussia. Then what's Manchester United fans do, do in Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> PSG, Neymar yes, here, yeah, Mbappe no, here, no, Smalling, no. oh my god. No, 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 look, after I, I I Man U, yeah. it's been a nice um, Champions League. Um, can we can we just invite all Manchester United fans? Yes, to the on, family party. We need them on Saturday. Come and let's yes. cool you down. Yes. You know, it's been a very difficult season. I mean, I mean, what, very, very hard very year, hard generally. Year, generally. I mean, yeah. things have not been going well. No, no, I mean, no, we'll no, invite no. the whole family of Jose Mourinho and, and all our United friends. Of course, we have to invite Mr. Hadi Ibrahim and his family. Fantastic family, you know, with um, the foreign affairs. And he should be coming over to the Botanical Gardens, Legon Botanical Gardens. We also have to invite Claudia Nyakwa Bankwa of Consolidated Bank Ghana Limited. <laughs> Judo branch. <laughs> uh, today is your birthday. This is coming from Cedric. Uh, but Claudia, you come for the party. Because the you are part of the chaotic family. Because you are part of the chaotic family. And if you are part of the chaotic family, you have to come for the chaotic there. family party in the park. Yes. But to be honest, we, we are going to have a, a group care that yes, day. Yes, and there will be a roll call. Because we and have to see the call. members. You know, you know, you know, uh, uh, um, we, we expect all of that to happen. But of course, we have to get straight to the sports center, which is probably brought to us We are getting into the sports center, probably brought to us by MTN. Welcome to yeah, the new world. Yeah, Standard yeah, yeah. Chartered Bank here for good effort. But this is your red tie. In a way. This is your red tie. Is it uh, the stand red? We are standing. You see standing that red. It's not a flying tie. It's red. not a flying tie. It's a standing tie. Stand chart to kill you. <laughs> 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 the FA glows your pain away, Balti TV. Just three was also bringing us um, the Joy Sports Center. It's a season to be jolly, and it can only get better with the MTN Momo this Christmas and beyond. Send 200 Ghana cities or more to other MTN Momo users. Get rewarded with 60 minutes free airtime instantly. Guess what? It doesn't end there. Keep receiving international remittances using your MTN Momo. Get rewarded with 60 minutes free airtime instantly as well. Go on, keep using your MTM or more. Let's send and receive money worth 200 Ghana cities or more and talk non-stop this Christmas season with MTN everywhere you go. My favorite advert the entire day is coming on. This is our year to live, breathe and stand red through the highs and lows of the season. We are getting more highs than lows. I know, low. it's, it's what's your... <laughs> to join millions of Reds around the world to show what we wear, like my red tie, mm-hmm. what we do, what inspires our great club and win loads of prizes. Just use your standard chartered visa, debit or credit card online or at any point of sale in and out of Ghana to win signed jerseys and an all-expense paid trip for two to Anfield. Uh, for two, and I'll go to Nogobo and transform myself into a hairbrush so that I can fit in your bag and go. <laughs> Remember that um, Standard Chart- Stand Chartered is the official sponsor of Liverpool FC, and we stand red with you. Liverpool FC, George. Liverpool FC. Uh, what do we say? No, 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 it. Look, it's the advert. You have to say it. <laughs> come on, dear, come on, dear. You will never walk alone. You will never walk alone. <laughs> Standard Chartered here for good. Yeah, for good. Yeah, for Terms good. and conditions And apply. let's get into the Sports Centre shop. Because the national under-23 team have not qualified for the Summer Olympic Games since 2004. And this afternoon at the Babayara Stadium, they start another qualification series to the next multi-sport event in Tokyo 2020. Head coach Ibrahim Tanko has been boosted by the arrivals of some foreign base players, including Yao Yebwa, Joel uh, Famiye, Isaac Trum to face Togo in the first leg of the preliminary round qualifier. 
And the last time Ghana played at the Olympics, Yusuf Chipsa was a captain of the team. The former Santi Quantico midfielder is retired and now serves as a player relations officer for, for the Professional Footballers Association of Ghana. Chipsa has told Joy Sports his outfit has proposed to the normalization committee to ensure players in the country have standard contracts. He explains further. Players sign contract. Let's say the player knows he signed two years contract. At the end of the two years, the club comes up and says, no, he signed three years. And they will bring up a, pay, uh, a contract that shows that the player signed three years. But the, co- the copy of the player shows two years. So we, we recommended to the FA that there should be a standard contract. And this is something that has been introduced by FIFA 2. And uh, it's going to be part of the new regulations. So this standard contract should be uploaded on the on the FA website or should be available at the FA website. And all clubs should be, should be allowed to use that standard contract. Just the details of the contract should change. I mean, the duration of the contract and then... The, the financial, financial details, yes. Exactly. Mm. So we, we put that across. We also uh, encourage the clubs to take over insurance for the players. The PFAG has been insuring the, the 16 clubs so far for the past three years. I see. We, we had we had the insur- insurance package uh, for them for the past three years. So we, now we want the clubs to take over that responsibility. As Santi Kotoko coach CK Akuna is urging his players to remain focused ahead of Saturday's CAF Confederations Cup return leg tie against Karibanki Sharks FC of Kenya. The Pokepang Warriors arrived yesterday from Nairobi after managing a goalless draw last Saturday. We are sort of 60, 60% true and uh, I'm sure it's not going to be easy when we're playing home because they were also not going to let us, uh, you know, just play. So we, we have to find a way of playing. To, to, to win. Of course, I am aware of that. I'm aware of that. We should not, even though we are celebrating, uh, we should be aware of that. We should not be aware of that. We should not be aware of Let's do boxing now. And father and trainer of Ghanaian boxer Isaac Dogbe says he's responsible for his son's recent defeat to Mexican boxer Emmanuel Navarrete. Dogbe lost the WBO Super Bantamweight title two weeks ago in a bout which he was totally dominated. Paul Dogbe admits all blame must be put on him. I just have to take the blame and then um, so that that would never happen. And this is Isaac Dogbe here. And we have I, to take the blame. I'm the dad and trainer and I'm saying he's well, as you see. Isaac is well, you know. But, you know, at the night of the fight, he got bruises and um, he was bruised a little bit. And, you know, it comes with the territory, you know. Who goes to battle and not have a scar? You know, so, but we just have to thank God and thank all the people that were supporting Isaac Dogbe, you know, in this journey. Um, now, still on boxing, and fans will get to enjoy some good fights during the festive season. Nathaniel Atto, as usual, helps us to look forward to these major boxing events for the holidays. The action begins with the Kabik Fight Night on Christmas Eve, December 24, at the Bukum Boxing Arena. Patrick Alote of Ghana will defend his WBO Africa Super Welterweight title against Sharif Kasongo of DRC. Also, Richard Nilati Harrison of Ghana will defend his WBO Africa Heavyweight title against Morris Okola of Kenya. Continuing the action on Boxing Day will be two doses. The first of them will be in Accra and it is put together by Don's Promotions and is codenamed The Battle of the Titans. Headlining the bill will be two Ghanaians. Obodai the Miracle Sai will face Franz Ramabolu of South Africa for the WBO Africa Middleweight title. While Robert the Stopper Quay fights Vincent Imbellini of Tanzania for the WBO Africa Junior Welterweight Belt. Also on the bill will be an international women's mixed martial arts title fight. And that surely is going to draw the crowd's attention and interest. Brahma Kamoko, the Bukum Banku, will make a major return to the ring as he squares off with Kabiru, the Storm, to Olawi of Nigeria. This will be the main event of the final Azuma Nelson fight night of the year in Kweu. Brahma Kamoko has 30 wins and one loss making up his record, while his Nigerian opponent has nine wins and one loss for this international cruiserweight contest, which is scheduled for 10 rounds. It is part of Kweu Republic's annual Bliss on the Hill Christmas Festival and is sure to draw great attention as this is the first time boxing is being included. Okay, so let's get into the Champions League now. That was Nathaniel Atto, and I'm happy because there's a lot of boxing on Boxing Day then. 
And there are more reactions to yesterday's 106 team draw. Liverpool legend Ian Rush is confident Jurgen Klopp will map up his strategy to handle five time winners Bayern Munich over two legs. I think uh, with Jurgen in charge as well now, German manager, I'm sure they know all about the German team. So uh, hopefully uh, that could be to our advantage. But Jurgen Klopp has got the team you now playing for each other. Now they don't play as individuals, they play as a team. And he's got a great team spirit. You know, um, we, we are a lot stronger. No, than we were last year. Uh, not just the 11 players, but I think it's you no. Know, we've got 18 or 19 players now, and everyone's uh, battling for a place in the side. And I think that comes down to the the management and uh, and the coaching staff. Manchester United face French giants Paris Saint Germain. What's expected to be a key encounter? But well, former player of Manchester United Owen Hargreaves is worried about United's form going into this game. Frightening, yeah, I think is <laughs> is the right word actually. PSG are just so good. If you just think about Cavani and Neymar and Mbappe, that. Now they've added Buffon, they, they kind of needed a keeper, they've added that, they've had a tactician in Thomas Tuchel. Feels like they're ready to really compete with, with the obsolete PSG and for United, you know, they're struggling to compete with, uh, you know, teams in the Premier League. So this is a big ask for, for Manchester United. I just feel that like hopefully Mourinho can find a, a recipe uh, against a very attacking PSG team. Spurs will take on Karen German Bundesliga leaders Borussia Dortmund. Dortmund have been us both in the domestic league and in the Champions League, but striker Harry Kane insists they will find a way around them. The teams are tough and they all have their, their pros and cons. Uh, Dortmund, we've played a few times over the last few years, so uh, it'll be an interesting game. They've been doing great this season in their league, so uh, it'll, be, it'll be a tough one. They've got a great atmosphere at, at their ground as well, so uh, we look forward to it. And it's a Champions League, we know it's going to be tough, so we've got to be ready for it. In other pairings, Manchester City will face Schalke 04. Holders Real Madrid face Dutch side Ajax, who have reached the knockout stages for the first time since 2005-2006. Serie A champions Juventus face Europa League winners Atletico Madrid. Spanish champions Barcelona meet French side Lyon, while Italian club Roma face Portuguese champions Porto. The first legs will take place on the 12th and 13th of February, and of course the 19th and 20th of February there, with the return fixtures on the 5th and 6th and 12th and 13th of March. Group winners will be away from home in the first legs and there will be live commentary on your official UEFA Champions League station, Joy 99.7 FM. So can we quickly wrap things up this morning then with the Carabao Cup action? And we know that Sergio Aguero and Kevin De Bruyne could both feature for holders Manchester City at Leicester in the quarterfinal clash. Well, the importance of this competition is not lost on City manager Pep Guardiola. Probably because we don't have many, many players. We have a lot of injured players, and I don't know some players that play today or the last games they have to play. But of course, it's a chance to reach semi-final, and we, or my team, are here since we are here in Manchester. Never drop one game, not even a friendly game. This is a competition must be respected, and like like we did it uh, last season. And, uh, and and we're going to try to win the game. A quick one. Uh, the World Anti-Doping Agency, WADA, says it's another step closer to gaining full access to the former Moscow Anti-Doping Laboratory. Now, that is happening and we're keeping our taps on that with a lot of reports to come. Access to the Moscow Laboratory data and samples before the end of 2018 was a condition for Russia's reinstatement. In the park. See, if you don't have your tickets, I don't know what you're waiting for. How many days? Is 25 Ghana cities. I was asking Kofi and said, so how did you? 25. So the father is five cities. Oh, the, the mother is five is, cities. Okay, so the father is five Pekins, cities. one city, one city, one city. <laughs> and then the other four. Ah.
<laughs> Please get your tickets. Get your tickets. The other I mean. five is four CDs. Hey, Charlie, <laughs> twenty-five Ghana CDs. Joy, the best pricing of the year. The best pricing of the year. Joy FM. <laughs> <laughs> so please get your tickets. Let's go and have fun. There's a whole lot. I mean, there's some giveaways. Yeah, presenters of course. are going to be giving you something to so take many home. Activities. So many activities. Outdoor games. Outdoor games. Indoor games. Indoor games. Food. Buy dog games. <laughs> <laughs> on top of the house. Charlie, game. let's see you and let's have fun. Abba. Let's let let's kick Abba. back a bit. It's Abba. time for us to have Abba. some fun with the family. Ah. It's gonna be at the Legon Botanical Gardens. Yes. Uh, it's gonna be at 6 a.m. That's when ah. the gates open, but activities begin at 10 a.m. Yes. So you can come set up with us. Let's relax, let's have oh, fun. Charlie, let's have the fun. The Joy FM family party in the park. Come and see Daniel. If you haven't seen Daniel before, come and see Daniel. Please come in for his the red, prayer. red tie. <laughs> Please, I'm wearing red tie that day. Oh my God. But I'll be wearing red. I'll be standing red. Come me red. Alright, so thanks, George, for bringing us to Joy yeah, Sports yeah, yeah. Center. I'm out, here. I'm out of here, man. Alright then. Still, still counting down to the Joy, Joy FM family party in the park coming off at the Legon Botanical Garden this weekend. Saturday morning, come spend some good time with the family. And other good-